Okay, so let's talk about how to play Ocean Eyes by Billie Eilish. The great thing about pop music is it's often based on our scales that we know from class. So if you're practicing your scales, it makes it a lot easier to learn pop songs or vice versa. If you're having trouble with a scale, um, I really like to have students learn a song they like in that key. So our song today is in A, which is concert G. So here's our A, 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 if you go to the next octave. And then our sharps for this, if you're newer to the clarinet, you're not sure about some of your fingerings, we're going to need this F sharp, this C sharp, which looks like C with this key on the side. And we don't much play it, but there's also G sharp in this key just to know about. For our next octave, we're also going to need this C sharp here. You can play it on this side, this key, the pinky, key, but I prefer this C sharp for this one. And then also F sharp here, and then we won't need this, but this is G sharp on the next octave. It looks just like our C sharp, but with our register key. <laughs> first note for most of these phrases, and it basically just goes down our A scale. F sharp, E, C sharp, B, A. And then it, the rest of that opening phrase is going to start in the same way, but it's gonna, we're going to get all the way down to this F sharp, which looks like our C sharp, but without the register key. And then the great thing about pop music is a lot of times the phrases just repeat. So if you want to do it again, that's exactly the next the next line that she's going to say. the next phrase and we'll leave you on a little cliffhanger. Um, I just want to talk about what what makes this such a fun thing to, to practice and why I think Billie Eilish is so successful with this song. One of the many reasons is that even though this song is pretty repetitive and even though she's basically in one dynamic the whole time, she has such clear phrasing and every phrasing is consistent when she wants it to be and new and exciting when she wants it to be. What I love about this melody is there's so many different ways you can play with this and make it still really pretty. she's staying in the piano range the entire time of really most of her discography. Um, it's always beautiful and pure and very well supported, but it's all still very exciting and there's lots of variations within her piano, right? She never gets very loud. She never belts as a performer, which is really different compared to what other pop singers are doing. And what that means though is that her tone color comes from a really supported place. She never gets whispery unless it's on purpose, even when she gets very quiet. So for us, what that means is we need to use lots of air. It's probably something your teacher works on with you a lot because it's something I still work on, everybody works on. But for now, I just want you to listen to the difference between what it sounds like to play the clarinet with okay air and then with really good air. Billy, when she sings this, there's a lot of tone and less air to her sound, right? So I can go... same volume. Right, so I didn't get louder. But there's a lot more of the actual 
additional clarinet sound that you're hearing compared to right there's lots of air so here's our second phrase we're going to need b you can use this b or this b and c sharp c sharp between our A, our throat tone A, and our B. So if you're a younger student, just get used to going back and forth between A and B. When you do that, notice your fingers don't actually have to go very far. It feels like, oh my gosh, I'm reaching all the way down. But your fingers are not really going anywhere. They're moving this much. So try to keep your hand relaxed and psychologically tell yourself it's not stressful. It's okay if it feels hard, but it's, it's not as hard as we think it is. And just keep your attention on your air going all the way through your instrument. If I try to do this without enough air, it just won't work. And I'll blame my fingers and be really mad at my fingers when it's really my air that's the problem. <laughs> That sounds okay, but now here's with better air support. That, that sounds a lot smoother, right? My fingers didn't get any better at playing the clarinet. I just used better air. So when you're doing this and getting used to that fingering, don't forget to blow all the way through. Lots of air as you're playing. If you're having trouble getting these notes out, start with your lower octave. Make sure your fingers are really well in place. So it's this fingering without our register key first. And start by making sure you have a really your best sound, lots of air, and then just add your register key. Sometimes just making sure you have that air going and that you're not stressed and tightening your mouth is enough to get the note out. The other thing is if you're a little bit more of an advanced student, you can throw, start thinking about your best A fingering. way you put down your other fingers for an A, you can play an A with no fingers. Will really affect your, your tone and your pitch. So find the one you can experiment, you can ask your teacher too, which one works best for you, and then practice going back and forth between that. so you can love them too. I go over notes, fingerings, phrasing, technique tips, and so much more, so feel free to skip around and take what you need and leave what you don't. And just have fun playing great music on your instrument. <laughs>